Super Soldier! Listen to me, I need my yearly Super Soldier Remor campaign, otherwise I start to go a little bit insane. And I know, I know deep down you enjoy it as well. You're, you're, everybody says the same thing, oh, I prefer the narrative campaigns, or I prefer it where there's a story. And meanwhile, those same people, when we get a uh, gun that fires a thousand bullets a second, are like, whoa! Today, today, today we begin an operation I'm calling Operation Ave Maria. Which is the Super Soldier program. I'm not giving it any fan. I shouldn't give it a fancy name. It's far too cerebral for this channel. I should call it Operation Ooh, Slime Girls. Ooh. Operation Super Soldier is a three-part Super Soldier program, and maybe more parts when I think of other parts to add on to the list. Firstly, we need a biosculptor, and by biosculptor I mean that very literally. We are going to sculpt her bio signs with bionics. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even find the bionics. Where are all the bionics? The second part of the Super Soldier program is biomechanical. You might think, well, oh, those bionics. No, no, no. I'm, of course, referring to a biosculptor. It's bionics that we alter through mechanics. It's bio biology that we alter <laughs> through mechanics. And then I don't remember the third one. I've already thrown myself off. I was probably going to make a gun better or something. What are we doing? We're going to try something silly. Robots. That's what we were going to do. We need better robots. With the better robots, they dig up better resources. With better resources, I build better guns. I am just excited to build a super soldier. That's all I'm here for, and that's all I care about in my life currently. Like, a uh, hospital probably wouldn't hurt. How, how are we doing on the silver front? Uh, obviously, some slight problems with that, where we laid a floor and dug up a floor and laid a floor and dug up a floor again so that we could pay for Maria's ransom. So I just gave them steel tiles for the floor instead. Uh, the issue with that is we're now entirely out of steel. But How does that make any sense? We had thousands at the end of yesterday. The gun. Right. I remember. Do I? <laughs> Simba. What level of robot did we get up to? Simple, basic, and immediate advanced. We've got tier four robots. Ooh. Okay, that's actually massive. Like, those are really, really good. Unpause it when we've got five, which is going to be whenever we build a robotic matrix, because that's the only thing we're building. So that's entirely a moot point. And then we build a building robot capable of building other robots. So that's the crafter robot. We'll build a crafter robot capable of building other builder robots, because we need the builder robots to mine for steel to build the crafter robots. Do I have any deep drills with power? Well, that would certainly imply that I do, yeah. And in fact, so with that, right, that, we've already got the builder bots to work. Let's build more deep drills. The more drills we have that we haven't got any components, we're back to square one. <laughs> Everything is cyclical in life. Look at this furniture I could replace, though. Steel tables, steel chairs, steel dressers and beds and tables and bins. Moria? You're on stone cutting, pal. Now, don't let me undersell things here. We've already achieved significant super advancements. We're not really good on the super soldier front, given that yesterday she was kidnapped by a group of wizards. There were a lot of wizards, and they also had artillery, so I think using the word wizard is, is a very loose one. But what we haven't achieved in super soldier, we have achieved in super colonist, because we're going to go from, what have we got, 53 marble blocks right now? How about instead of 53 marble blocks, we just get like 53,000 marble blocks? Look at this. Look at this. And then with our almost instantly produced thousands of marble blocks, I'm going to go around and replace everything in the base that I need to build robots out of. We're going to turn this bin into a robot. Or we're going to turn that bed into a robot as well. I don't know if I really want them sleeping on a marble bed, but you know what? Sacrifices have to be made for the name of science. This will be the least comfortable base in the world, but at least I'll have robots, which is more than any of you have. Well, I don't know that. I mean, robots are pretty common now. Like, a microwave is a robot. Stupid! <laughs> I'm sorry, Builderbot. I can't blame you. I mean, how can I blame Builderbot when both of his right legs have been shut? <laughs> how many right legs do you have? Maybe he's only got right legs, which is why he's shit at building. Running around in circles, perpetually forever. Spinning on the spot. Don't they hover? I, I don't know why, but the idea of a, uh, a Roomba-style robot on legs is, is very unnerving. Exoskeleton suits. Now, you might be thinking she already has an exoskeleton suit, but this is an exoskeleton suit you put inside you. So it's not a suit, nor is it exo. It's just a skeleton. <laughs> I've never thought about that before. Why do they call it an exoskeleton suit when it's a freaking bionic? Even if it goes around the spine, okay, the suit part is fine, but it's not exo, is it? Oh, it's, it's endo. Endo frame. Endo, what is it called? 
I don't know what I'm talking about. Where is it? Just show me the down. Exoskeleton suit, 75 plasteel, 60 steel, 7 components. We might be able to make that this time next week. I, I'm, I'm so desperate for steel, I thought, why not make another few thousand marble blocks there? And we'll replace every wall in the base with the finest marble. Well, not the finest marble, of course. We could make marble fine wall. Actually, we could. How long will that take, though? Oh! Uh, well, obviously, I don't want to replace all of that garbage out there. We could. <laughs> that's, probably, yeah, that's probably where a lot of our steel went to. Maria. Oh, is this the moment? Wait, what are we working on right now? The, the advanced matrix? It is. Tier 4 building bot capable of mining the earth itself. There you are, my little friend. And now, no, no, throw that down. Throw that down. Throw that down. And then carry on. Engineering robotics. No, no, suspend that. Suspend that. What do we need? Well, that's, we've got everything. We, we, we've actually got everything. Whoa! She instantly builds it. Well, that's no fun. You're supposed to build up the tension a little bit. My God, this is YouTube, not something entertaining. <laughs> well, pad the video length so I can get more of those juicy, juicy sponsors in. Drilling a deep drill. How fast is it going to be, though? That's the real question. Uh, where is it going? We got another deep drill. We do have another deep drill. Okay, fifty-five. So. Okay, that, I mean, that's pretty fast. Oh, you've got to admit that's pretty quick. Look at him go. 190. 222. The little robot that could. Now we just built a second one. Give, give, give me a second robot right now. Maria, wake up. She, she started crafting 50 components, and she's got more steel than when she started. Oh, I think... I think we've, we've maybe already done it and here we go advanced matrix the second one and then second builder bot a second but yep ah oh! there you go oh this is good this this feels right so we're probably gonna have to deactivate some of our other robots then because they're taking up all the good deep drills uh inferior builder bots i'm sorry you're being you're being decommissioned uh, it's big special robot time look at the gold and this is just advanced components after advanced component. Okay. Build about 15. You are our new Fox Flame. Welcome back, my friend. Oh, we already have the scientist cabinet. Okay. Well, I'll take, uh, I'll take two of those. That covers the whole thing. Next thing. We need a hospital. We need somewhere for a good hospital bed. We need a, a, a high tier ER bot, preferably one of those tier four ones. So we'll need another advanced matrix. Then we'll need... Basically the most state of the art hospital we can get, right? Because 49 is just a just a terrible doctor. That means we're gonna need more silver, which we don't have. But I think we have scanned some underground here. Uh silver. Plastil. Silver? Plastil. Silver. Plastil. How am I supposed to differentiate? That's gotta be silver. That's mithril. For God's sake. <laughs> what does the silver look like then? We definitely scanned some silver underground, but Sulpyrites. Steel, plasteel, steel. I'm losing my damn mind. Silver! It's more of a cream color. This way, we're going to be able to take off two parts of the Super Soldier program, both the biomechanics and the mechanic bionics. I want two more Matrix and one more Builder, but we'll put a uh, an ER bot as a much higher priority. Give me you, and you go there. Oh, I invested too heavily in the other robots too soon. We've, we're, we're already on the path to Omnibots. This doesn't make Omnibots. This just makes robots that, that are tier 5 in their kind of specialized area. Then we need another research after that to make the Omnibots, which are good at everything and can do everything. So we can get rid of all these individual hauling bots and, and builder bots or whatever else. But a hospital. We, we haven't got any silver left, but I've, <laughs> I've built a hospital, so we got that going for us. Not having any traders is making this way harder than it needs to be. How, how are we going, Builder Bot 16? Oh, we're almost out of silver, you say? Oh, that's that's fantastic. Kind of notice those wizards have been awful quiet since we got the uh, anti material rifle as well. Can I notice that? Those wolves have. Uh... <laughs> Oh, wow! these things are working pretty well, huh? Are they, are they haven't quite exhausted that one yet. My God, that one they've exhausted. That one's forbidden. That one they are cracking on with. That's the one I've reinstalled today. Wow, this is nuts. This is actually nuts. Uh, have we got any more silver? Any more of that delicious creamy silver deep underground? I swear we've scanned more than one... Silver? Solperite. Uh, I can't see any more. Why is silver so rare? 
Man, that's crazy. Do you got any more of those uh, mining co ships? The one any steel. I am the steel lord. Look at little fox flame go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just stacks and stacks. All right, well, forget the robots. We can't work on that. So we're going to Operation Super Soldier. Let's throw down a bio sculptor. Uh, let's also throw down a uh, delicious marble bin in there so that we can actually keep the room tidy. Otherwise, I'll get a thousand comments about a mechanic that I know how it works that I've just simply forgotten about because I've got a lot on my plate. Did you know that they are more efficient when the room is... Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Now, I don't want to throw Maria into the Biosculptor until we're confident that we're not going to get another raid for a while. So I think we're going to wait until this raid, this next raid turns up. And then afterwards, we'll throw her in. What can we give her? Uh, medic Cycle, Bio Regen, that's fine. Uh, beauty Cycle. Oh, Immunity Tough Cycle is actually a great idea. We can make her tough, like give her the tough trait with it. Did I include the reconditioning pod in this pack? Recon de shining pod. We can give her any trait we want. Forget about your damn bioscopes for a moment. Ah, oh, instead of wizards, we have wizard Vikings. Also, uh, Maria, what what's going on? <laughs> Hello. Oh, there's three groups. Okay, we've got eight there. We have another five there, and we have another six there. That's not too bad to try and deal with one person. Let's get out there and put this rifle to good use. What's the range on that? Oh, like, actually absurd. And its accuracy is pretty good. So I've got very high hopes for this. What's going on over there? Are you going to dig through the... No, I'm not a fan of that at all, actually. If you could not do that... Oh, the cooldown on it's disgusting still. Oh, man, even after we reinforced it a little bit too. Maria, you are not giving me much hope there, pal. Uh, we're going to swap to the... PDW? Oh, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. It just took a second. It just took a second. Okay, these aren't wizards, so I'm not that bothered. But some of them can be magical, so do be a little bit bothered. Like, 50% bothered. I think they're going to go right through the bloody mountain. Hey! Oh, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Are any of these magic? None of those guys are magic. Right, charge right ahead. I don't care about those ones. There's, uh, G Gerda. And actually, I think that's it. Uh, Beaver Slayer's gone. <laughs> No comment. Just keep charging. Just I don't care about this. Uh, you'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine with that group. Okay, this is where we get the anti-material rifle and we pop that blood mage from a bloody mile away. Because if anything's ever going to cause us issues, I think it's probably the blood mage. What are you wearing on your head? Scarletite Guardian helmet. My god. Oh, it's only 50% armor. Okay, that's not nearly as bad as I expected. Oh, we're in range already. We're in range already. Go for... Go for that one, Maria. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? Let's come up here. Let's come parallel a little bit more. She might hit a couple more on the way through. Come on. The cooldown isn't that bad. It really isn't terrible. I think aiming time is the problem with this thing. That's it. Thread it right down the middle. Thread it right down the middle. Whoa, 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 what's... what's uh, is that parallel? I think it's more or less parallel. Come on, Maria. Maria, they're going to get in the bedroom. Horrible. Actually horrible. Maria, for God's sake. Oh! There goes the blood wizard. You know what? Just just, just rush him down now. What are they going to do to her at this point? Hello there. Good there to shred a few Vikings, if that's okay. Don't come back, ever. We're going to have to pick the most armored wall we've got to reinforce this. And now in between raids, throw her in for a tough cycle. Throw her in for a tough cycle. Maria, 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 get in. Go. Hey! 49's magic lab coat. Although, to be fair, we could probably upgrade that pretty massively. We're going to do that in a second. She built the ER bot. I didn't even notice her doing it. She did build the ER bot, you legend. Okay, okay, let's get that installed. And then, I was going to say if we could build some bionics, we could, you know, install them into her. But that's not going to happen because she's the person who uh, builds the bionics. That's a slight problem with that plan. You might have figured it out. Let's make the most of this while Maria is sleeping then. Let's reinforce this coat as much as possible. We'll probably get a good few reinforcements, but it won't be that mad, unfortunately. So we're up to 17% right now. 18. 18. 18. 20. That was huge. That was that was that was a big one. Uh, and 20. Okay. Uh, not fantastic, but there. I think we got a little more cloth too. Go all that hold, lazy. And 21. 22. And the higher the number goes, the easier it's going to be to reinforce because it's just a percentage of that, right? I, 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 although it is going to cost just a, like a staggering amount of resources for very little return. And we're out. But 23% just for wearing a very fancy lab coat is. I mean, that seems pretty good. There we go. 
Big boy high tier robot. And if we take some Omnibots and strap them to the back of the Muffalo for whenever we build our next base, we're set. We're not going to need any other robot at that point, right? So that's at least the, the minimum goal with this one. Ooh, healer max. Lazarus, right? We can build Resurrect Max. Why would I need it? I mean, maybe for 49, I suppose. It's a robot. You're just going back together. It was that easy. You just do a little, little gaffer tape. Sticking back together, you got no problem. That's how that's how my computer runs. And it's been keeping this channel going for the best part of three years. <laughs> and be free, my little super soldier. Peace in our time. We didn't have a single thing to worry about there. And what we did get from that was a disgusting amount of steel. <laughs> in fact, so much steel, I can't possibly store it all. This isn't all of it. There's genuinely shitloads more out there in the wild that we can't we can't do anything with. Like a lot of steel. And that means we could reinforce whatever the hell we wanted, assuming it's built out of components and and steel. Like the PDW. Oh, that's plastic, isn't it? Boo. Well, we could pick a different weapon and just reinforce that one forever, like the throwing knives. In the meantime, I think we're going to go for some bionics first, and then we'll get weird with it. I've gone through all of these implants, and I made a little bit of a shopping list based on what we can actually make right now. So I've gone for two black pearls. Those are our replacements. We've got two flashlights. Those go on the ear and make you shoot better. Don't ask questions. We have a compression jaw, a compression stomach, two muscle wires for the legs because they're slightly better than the advanced bionic legs if my maths is right, which it is. Never doubt me. Two advanced bionic arms so that she can pew pew better. Exoskeleton suit and advanced rib replacement. I didn't pick a spine. You don't have a spine? It was a surge bar. Spy. Oh, none at all. Wait, no bionic spines? Been lied to? Maybe on the... Whoa! Well, I mean, the exoskeleton is a... Uh, the advanced exoskeleton... The exoskeleton that's internal is actually a spine, as far as I recall. Uh, doesn't say, but you'll just have to take my word for it. Oh, no! Oh, stop, 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 stop. Turns out there's always... Wait, zoom? What does zoom do? Plus two shooting accuracy. It's only 115% part efficiency, so it's slightly worse than the Black Pearls for actual eye power. So like I said, we're going to start building some bionics now, unless there's more bloody research. Oh, a microwave emitter. That's basically a robot, as far as I remember. Okay, round two, let's try this again. Uh, zoom needs a little bit of, a little bit of yayo. Laser detection goes on the ear. My, uh, plus three shooting accuracy, minus 10% aiming time again. Oh, this is silly. Well, if the flashlight is an implant... And the laser detection, ah, oh, it's an implant. Have we got any that are uh, an ear replacement? Yeah, the Sensonic ear side is. I should work, otherwise it's not an implant, is it? It's a, it's a replacement. But, hold on, if quality bionics doesn't affect the offset and just affects the uh, the base uh, efficiency, making two bionic legs might actually be better, because if they come out masterwork or better, we've got craft culture as one of our memes which is this thing here. And by memes, I mean precepts. Increases quality of items created on work table by one up to legendary. So she's going to be churning out potentially legendary and masterwork bionics. I think the legs will probably be better because otherwise that's just giving a flat 15% moving, whereas that thing could be like 230% efficiency. There's our microwave. Thank you. Can make a delicious meal. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel all of that because we've got even more. <laughs> oh, it's a gamble. But there's a looted vault as well. Now, people asked, is it reasonable to send Maria over there and get the Mechanite machinery to infuse her with abilities and powers? And the answer is, I mean, yeah, obviously. Will it be incredible to watch? If so, absolutely it's allowed. <laughs> oh, this is also tech versus magic. And last time I checked, giant high-tech lab equipment counts as tech and not magic. It's going to be dangerous, though. We're going to have to get there and back bloody fast. And we also need to be ready to leave super fast as well, just in case a raid turns up, because we haven't had one in over a week now, ever since she got tough. Did that work? It did work. Oh, and here we are. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, oh, you fools. You thought I would become super soldier when, in fact, I am mushroom. <laughs> and this will get us to an actual 100% real vault with... Lab equipment. How much can the super pond carry? Uh, it can carry 120 kilo. Oh, that's not going to be a very much, is it? Can we build a bigger ship? I, I haven't been researching any, but we could get the canary, I suppose. We could rebuild the ship that they came here in. I mean, we've certainly got the steel. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This will be it. This will be the final time, I promise. Do we want to... Let's start... Let's go one component at a time. 
Start with the eyes. Robotic eye, 10% consciousness, 150% efficiency. If we get that master work, that could be up to like 300%. That's a candidate. That's very good. It's also a replacement. Worth mentioning. Energy link, don't care. Outer blade, don't care. I need, I need eyes. I need eyes. Lion heart, don't care. Uh, Cyclops visor. What was that? 120%. But it gives a guarantee range cooldown aiming time of shooting accuracy, though. Let's just build one of each and see if that works before I get carried away. Uh, shit. Yeah, no, I'm not not really ready for that one, actually. <laughs> well, let's see how this goes then, Maria. No pressure. I might come and lock these doors, and then we can always do the old... We can always do the old bait around there. I wonder if we can shut the other doors, too, if we're fast enough. Oh, shit. If we could lock that, and then have them ripped apart in the kill box. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh! Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Yes! Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, okay. Carefully deal with these two. And then we'll send Maria down when that smoke is cleared. That doesn't sound good. Are they already ripping? Oh my god. A fucked flame! Yeah, I don't think these turrets are really going to last very long. It's not, it's not called, you know, turrets versus magic. It's called tech versus magic. And yes, turrets are tech. But Maria is a little more... Tech. Wow, we, we actually can't aim at them when it's like this. Right, here's the plan then. We crack that one open. Let's go shut this door quickly as well. And then we'll just bait them round the outside, round the outside, and hope that's enough. Alright. Oh, there's still turrets. There's still turrets. There's still turrets. Give them, give them time. I believe in the turrets. And look, some of the insects are leaving anyway. I don't believe in the turrets. They've, they've really, royally fucked this up. Right, go. Maria. Bait them out. Bait them out. Bait them out. Here you go. We cannot shoot into the smoke at all. So there's not much point even trying on that one. Come on. That's it, that's it, that's it. Chase it down. Good mega spider. There you go, there you go. Actually, you know what? The explosion from the turrets has pretty much destroyed them all at this stage. I think we're probably just going and tidy up the rest at this point. Oh man, I was hoping that was going to be a big showdown. Careful, don't get over compli uh, co complicated. Don't get over complicated, build a bot. There you go, there you go. That's it, that's it, that's it right there. Okay, press forward a little bit. We might as well push the advantage we've got at this point. And honestly, if you didn't look too carefully, you wouldn't even know we've been raided by insects. <laughs> if it turns out this ER bot cannot do surgery now, I might cry and then scream. And then I'll make it so the ER bot can do surgery. Let's install... So, so hold on, hold on. One was an implant. I don't have a brain that works anymore. Replacement, replacement, replacement. So sensoric ear side first. Uh, we're going to put it in the right ear. We're going to put it in the right ear. Ah. Uh, Right. Yeah, no, that is, uh, is it broken? Yeah, but no, it's alive. What if we just get it to rest? Maybe the robot will just come and do it. Oh, it lied to us. None of your colonists can do it, but who needs colonists when we have bot? So if that is true, then we can install the flashlight into the right ear. We cannot. We have been lied to. Oh, well, more, more likely it's an implant into an actual human ear and not like this thing. Uh, is that good, though? 120? Oh, but when you install it, the stats go back to... No. So it's irrelevant how good... What the fuck is the point of the quality bionics mod if when you install the bionic, it resets to the regular stats? Am I... I mean, the sell price, if you want to be a bionic manufacturer. That sounds like a lot of fun. Let's make a box and sell it to people. I don't... I feel like I've missed something. I'm going on this Steam page. 180% body part efficiency on the Cyclops visor. That gets plugged into her face, and then that should... What? Oh, she had an architect eye there. What a fool. Uh, that should be 180%. Oh, it's not. It's 120%. Uh... Oh, but efficiency is 180%. So that just shows a basic Cyclops visor. Then you have to actually look at the stat. Okay, I forgive you. I apologize. I take back everything I said there. Uh, quality bionics. You're a quality mod for quality people who can read. So in that case, do we want the sensoric ear sides that give melee dodge chance 120% efficiency? Or do we want a flashlight that gives aim time... Uh, sorry, sight modifiers. Um, I assume we can't have both. Oh, man. The power arms give 150% efficiency, which is better than the bionic arms anyway. But they also give 125% blunt damage bonus and then 75 carry capacity on top of that. And I think we can have two hover feats with the muscle work because the hover feats give 135%. The bionic legs give 135%. 
One is 10% better or worse than the other. I don't remember which way around it is, but the point is I think we can combine those two because that goes in the leg, that goes in the foot. And then all the reject parts, we give to 49. So the Archeo... T hey? What do you like, get in the... <laughs> Did he get in the way while she was training? Or like the insects? Well, I don't know how that's happened and I won't question it. A marital dispute, perhaps. Oh, we can just straight up give them the beautiful trait. Oh, well, yeah, shit, we'll all do that. Uh, absolutely, both of them. Both of them get that. Look at this magnum opus of a human being. Masterwork power arms, 255% each. The muscle wires don't get anything because they're boring. A stomach so efficient, the food just falls right through you. I think I might be a medical condition, to be honest. Install power arms. Although they're called power arms by default, so I guess install power arms arms. Power arms is... <laughs> that, would, that wouldn't instill me with confidence in my surgery. Come to, you can come through to the theater now for installing your power arms. It's, we've got a new heart replacement. We've got some hover feats. Actually, we might not be able to do the heart replacement because that's medical skill 15. I'm not sure that these robots have that much medical skill. Uh, let's have a look here. ER bot. <clears throat> let's have a look here. <laughs> ER bot. Doesn't say. Well, I don't know why I even bothered checking. That's another deep drill used up. My god. My god. I mean, these builder bots have just, like, changed the game. I've got this one on diamond, because I thought, I mean, we've got enough steel and plastic at this point. So much that I can't, I can't put it anywhere. I meant to expand the room so that we can store our loot. I'm trying to make sure we've got all the ingredients for advanced components, because that's what we're using up a shitload of. And then when we're done upgrading them with all the bionics, that's when we're going to go ham on reinforcing. And maybe getting her some better armor, too, because she's still wearing the friggin' maid outfit. And that's it. I don't know if these robots can fail surgery, but they didn't fail a single one. Oh, my God. Look at that. Uh, we can't install the other hover foot because we don't have one. The muscle wires and the hover foot, uh, hover, hover feet. Or what was the other? Uh, power arms, power arms. It's the hover feetsies we can't have. What about this, though? Compression stomach, compression jaw. What if those don't get installed, huh? How? How can we have an exoskeleton suit that's an implant, an exoskeleton armor? No, the exoskeleton armor implants onto the bone. The exoskeleton suit is a uh, skeletal structure. Again, neither of those are exo anything. And we've got two of them. One goes below the other. So technically one's exo, but not actually. Everything about this image scares me. A much larger threat approaches. The danger appears to be dire. A number of gigalocas belonging to the murderous hive are landing around your base. Their only intention is to kill. And they plan to attack immediately. America. Oh, good God. Right, yeah, now... Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of damage, eh? And those got compressed down, did they? Uh, no, they didn't, luckily enough. Looks like they're overridden by these metasynaptic nodes. What the fuck are those? Oh, those are the, the stinky, stinky cloud. Are those all what we have to deal with right now? Most of the map is on fire, but I wouldn't worry about that. That's uh, part of the course, isn't it, really? It's a drought. Well, it's a drought. It's always a drought here. Uh, new and improved Maria. Now we test your prowess, my friend. Now, I don't think I've shown her numbers since we uh, had this surgery. 234% moving, 280% manipulation, 212% talking, eating, sight, hearing, etc., etc. It's all quite high. Uh, the talking, though, I assume is fairly irrelevant because I don't think they're interested in uh, surrendering. So we're going to dash her out there and we're going to do a lot of damage. What the hell is the ER bot doing out there? So. Oh, shit. Well, that's slower than I anticipated. How many we got to kill again? Something like 80? Some of them are going around the outside. Oh, this is frightening. Oh, my God. <laughs> Run! She can outrun them and continuously fire, so in theory, we won't lose. Oh, this is a bog apocalypse. Oh, my God. This is going to take forever because if, if, if all of their bug powers go on cooldown in between us being able to blast them. That's what the exclamation mark is. He's pieced it together. If their bug powers go on cooldown, we could be here for quite some time. Maybe I should be focusing on those guys first. You know what we need? Some sort of big 
grenade launcher that could fly super fast. Okay, I think we're going to be fine. As long as we keep moving very carefully. And don't let them too close. It's going to take hours. <laughs> ah, which is kind of horrible in its own right, really. This insect apocalypse is going to take hours. What were you out here doing? Asking for a friend. Oh, you absolute fanny. Well, 49's down. Uh, okay, watch this. This is this is going to be a real game of move. We're going to go down here. We're going to go around here. We're going to run up here. And then we're going to grab 49. No pressure. Maria runs pretty fast. Into the smoke. That's not what I intended. Okay, there you go. There you go. That's it. Bait them away. And then they run over to 49. And then my whole plan falls apart. How's your research jacket doing? Oh, that better be fine. I mean, how are you? Sorry. Yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> not well. Not well. We need to, like, rescue him immediately. Kill those two quick. Uh, get him. Like, get him. Get him. Run. Okay. Okay. He's safe. And then we activate the robot. Robot can deal with his injuries. Robot, deal with the injuries. I gave her those bionics at, at the perfect moment. If it was any later, we would have been we would have been doomed. She wouldn't have been able to outrun them. And then the running gun wouldn't have worked. Then we'd have to fight them in here. And they wouldn't have lasted. I mean, obviously, the terrorists didn't even last taking out a dozen of them there. Okay, I think we're down to the last few. You might as well push the advantage. I think at this point, we've got it. Search and destroy the rest. There you go. There you go. Go on, Maria. I believe in. I, I, I think she can deal with anything at this point. She's also got that melee dodge chance. So I'm not really too worried about that one. Wizards? Wizards are probably going to do us in. But a few insects here and there. This is okay. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think Empress Evil might have been the easiest storyteller we could have hoped for. <laughs> we are in a whole new era. We are in an era where Maria herself could not get any more perfect. We have built the perfect person. Now we need to build the perfect equipment for the perfect person. The only way we could actually improve what she's got here is A, if someone in the comment section corrects me on some of the other bionics being better, and B, would be if we were to rebuild these so that we get legendary quality bionics, which honestly sounds like a complete waking nightmare. And there are, of course, a few other upgrades we can get as well. We can finish off the other hover foot. We can get the uh, adrenaline rib, the dermal plating. Then that's it. That There is no going up from there. So all of our resources now, we can just sink into reinforcing, reinforcing, reinforcing non-stop. And then when that's done... And then when we get the Omnibots, when we've got a good few Omnibots that can help us out with just rebuilding or everything, because they're Omnibots, that's the point, then I'm happy to sell the base and move on with everything we've got, with everything we've built, with everything we've given them, and we see if we can survive on not only a higher difficulty, but a new storyteller chosen by all of you watching. Please have mercy. Please be gentle and finally thank you all for watching now heads up tomorrow's episode is going to be recorded far earlier than i normally would probably before this episode goes live so i'm not gonna be able to read the comments or anything like that but that's because i'm the busiest person in the whole world apropos of uh real life not including the channel uh so that's that's gonna be a little inconvenient we'll admit but everything will be fine everything will be, thank you for sticking with me everything is gonna be perfect within a week it'll all be better Ah, I'm telling myself that. No, I'm telling myself. It's all okay. And the people who make it okay the most, that's right, you guessed it. It's El Zilcho, Grayson Tagger, Nick Danger 13 Mert Skirt, Foul Datini, Bobson Tugnut, Bill Nye, the Cream Pie Guy, Lapis Golem, That Gay Commie, Asana Kirito, Critical Hat, Zoe Meadows, Athom, Altari, Man of Many Fates, Adam Spleen, Ethan Was, Noodle Pokin, Galupo Fruit Hag. And Poseidon CM. Thank you all for your support over at Patreon. Thank you all for bearing with me. If you enjoy sci fi, there's a Mass Effect ser series. I've started over on the second channel because I've never played the Mass Effect games. So I'm currently playing through Mass Effect 1. And I'm being a horrible little horrible man. Uh, my name is Mr. Samuel Shepard. Uh, it's a good time. It seems like a pretty fun game. So I'm going to record some of that in a second. Thank you as well to Proper Banter, Plondo, Chief Werewolf, Saltalor, The Middle Little Moist Man, Warsheep, Mayor, Dark Misery TC, Psy Chaotic Burst. Bare Minimum, Nia Ragupin, The Gentleman, Ghostronaut, Ebon Dragon 323, Donald, Cass, and Chicken Robo as well. See you all tomorrow for ribs that are filled with yayo. Mm.